Welcome to the first session on uh, Cassandra. So if you can see the uh, logo of Cassandra, it's a beautiful uh, eye. And uh, if we talk about the Cassandra, it was uh, first of all uh, introduced in, I think it was the year 2008, and uh, it was initially created by two engineers. So on, uh, I think it was uh, Avinash and uh, Prashant Malik, and they were working at Facebook, and it was developed for uh, inbox search uh, for the uh, Facebook. And later on, it was uh, it was uh, taken by uh, Apache. And uh, as of today, we uh, when we talk about it, it, it is a NoSQL open source uh, column-based uh, uh, database. It's it's been very very popular. So let's talk what is NoSQL database. Uh, so NoSQL database is also known as uh, not only SQL database, uh, and it provides a way to store and retrieve the data. Uh, if we talk uh, in comparison to the RDBMS uh, relational database, where in data is stored in the form of column and rows. What are the features of NoSQL database like, uh, um, like your Cassandra? So there is no strict uh, schema design. Uh, you can use it the way you want it to. Uh, when the data grows and uh, it hits, in, in case of RDBMS, you cannot scale up. So in case of uh, NoSQL database like uh, uh, like your Cassandra, you can uh, scale horizontally, which is known as scaling out, and uh, you can control uh, over the availability. You can add uh, n number of nodes, so so your uh, availability increases. Some of the features of NoSQL database is it is a schema free, so you need not to design the the structure. Uh, you know, like the how the data has to be populated so it is free from that that's why it is so so famous and uh, it supports uh, easy replication so when you talk about n number of nodes uh, in case of Cassandra then the data is replicated over the nodes it has a simple API so that you can interact with the Cassandra for uh, uh, read write and uh, query operations um, since it is a NoSQL database, it has to be eventually consistent, right? If we talk about uh, rigid consistency, then your availability will, will uh, decrease, right? Um, it is meant for huge amount of data. So that's a basic about what is NoSQL database uh, like uh, Cassandra. It's a basic difference between RDBMS and NoSQL database. Uh, so RDBMS database supports your query language uh, in case of NoSQL uh, database. Uh, it supports very simple query language, right? In RDBMS, it has a fixed schema. In case of NoSQL, it has a fluid schema, so it is not uh, uh, not very uh, strict. So you can design the way you, you do it. Uh, it follows the uh, RDBMS follows the strict uh, ACID uh, compliance. But in case of uh, NoSQL, it is not that a strictness, right? It uh, RDBMS supports transaction. Uh, NoSQL database like uh, uh, like Cassandra, they do not uh, support the transaction, right? Let's talk about what is Apache Cassandra. So it was introduced in 2008 at Facebook by two Indian, uh, Indian engineers, uh, Avinash and uh, Prashant Malik, and it was it is it has been used for the uh, for the Facebook uh, inbox search capability uh, for the enormous amount of data. And it is it is it has been uh, one of the most famous NoSQL database. It is highly scalable. It has high performance uh, distributed database, and it has been designed for large amount of data across the commodity server. So it is not like you have you need the high performing uh, uh, server. You can use it on commodity server as well. Uh, it has high availability with the no single point of failure because of multi-node availability. And the most important feature, it is column-based uh, database. Uh, it, it is scalable. You can add a number of nodes. It is fault tolerant. In case one of the node goes down, then then it will be taken. Uh, the the amount of work will be taken by the uh, the nodes. It is consistent, and uh, as I mentioned, it was designed by Facebook, and it is entirely different from the RDBMS. 
and in in terms of the distribution design it is uh, it is being uh, similar to to your uh, dynamo db of uh, of um, aws and and uh, google's big table so these these are similar what are the features of uh, cassandra cassandra is uh, having the very fast write right uh, because it has been uh, uh, designed to run on the cheap commodity server it performs uh, fast writes and it can store uh, terabytes of data without any impact on the read efficiency uh, transaction support uh, cassandra uh, uh, supports uh, uh, properties like uh, asset compliance so it is it it, it does that uh, let's talk about the easy distribution. Cassandra provides the uh, flexibility to distribute the data where you want uh, by replicating around uh, multiple uh, nodes uh, across the data center. If it is multiple uh, data center, then also it is going to support um, a flexible data storage. Cassandra supports all possible data format, whether it is structured, non-structured, or uh, uh, semi-structured. So it can uh, dynamically accommodate uh, changes to your data set uh, according to your requirement. Um, the most important feature is fast uh, linear scale performance. Cassandra can be linearly scalable, right? It increases your throughput as you increase the number of nodes in the cluster and it uh, maintains a very quick response time. So in terms of the response, in terms of the availability, in terms of the fault tolerance, uh, everything, it's, it's great about the NoSQL database Cassandra. Elastic scalability this is very very important uh, cassandra is highly scalable so it allows you to add uh, the hardware so more number of nodes you, you are going to get better throughput availability as well right and that's all uh, about the basic of cassandra and in the next uh, session we will see uh, the architecture of cassandra i hope it's going to help and uh, thanks for watching